Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be explaining everything you need to know about ray tracing. Nvidia was the first to announce the arrival of the RTX capable GPUs with the arrival of their hugely impressive 20 series turning cards. Fast forward to 2021 and the RTX is used more frequently in the industry leading AAA titles. New GPUs have performance to not only render ray tracing effects in real time but at a high standard too. So what exactly is ray tracing? It is a rendering technique that is used to create a more realistic depiction of light and shadows, focusing on the ways in which light and shading interacts with physical objects, creating a greater depth of realism in both video games and film. Ultimately, ray tracing uses an algorithm that traces the path of light and simulates the effects of that light when it hits the virtual object. If you are a frequent watcher of our YouTube WePC benchmarking channel, you will already be aware of the dramatic knock-on effect that ray tracing has on a frame rate output. We have tested a number of different games to see how ray tracing impacts performance and the results are fairly eye-opening. On average, gamers will be looking at around 30% drop in frame rate output. That's an extremely large drop in FPS for what is essentially better light. So does AMD support ray tracing? Well, AMD has released its hugely impressive lineup of 6000 series GPUs, bringing high-end performance and ray tracing support to Team Red customers. Next, we have a few factors to consider when choosing a GPU for ray tracing performance. First off, we have NVIDIA's RT cores. RT cores are custom designed to help accelerate the rendering of ray tracing graphics. Unfortunately, AMD doesn't have any alternative hardware implementations that helps the processing of ray tracing content, effectively making them worse for RTX gaming. Next, AMD's drop-in performance. Enabling RTX on a game can have a dramatic effect on the amount of FPS your GPU provides. With NVIDIA GPUs, the drop can be around 20% on average. AMD's performance drop is an additional 10 to 20% more than NVIDIA's. Having a system capable of running games at their max resolution with ray tracing will set you back a fair amount. Next-gen consoles now feature ray tracing, allowing it to be more accessible to those with a tighter budget, and it looks and works incredibly well on both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. If you click on the card above or the link down below for our WePC article adjoining to this video, there is a more in-depth information about ray tracing and a list of games that incorporate it. And also you will find a list of graphics cards that will perform ray tracing perfectly for your gaming PC. Definitely worth a look. Also guys, give our WePC benchmarking channel a watch for our brilliant ray tracing benchmarks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know down in the comments on which game you enjoy playing with ray tracing. Please give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. And if you look over here, there's gonna be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks again.